Good evening, I'm Jim Axelrod. Nothing sends more Americans to the hospital each year than heart failure. And tonight we have some extraordinary news to report about a new drug that could change the way heart failure is treated. Right now, the best treatment available is a group of drugs known as ACE inhibitors. But today, researchers published the results of a trial of a new drug called LCZ-696 in the New England Journal of Medicine. They said the drug had, quote, an overwhelming benefit. It is twice as effective as ACE inhibitors at preventing death from heart failure. In fact, this new drug developed by Novartis was so successful in clinical trials earlier this year that the trials were halted in order to get the drug to public more quickly. Heart failure can happen for a variety of reasons, but the result is that the heart loses its ability to pump blood at a normal rate. It can affect every organ in the body, including the brain, kidneys, and the liver. The new drug, actually a combination of two drugs called Secubitril and Valsartan, works to rebalance the blood's chemistry and bring circulation back to normal. More than 8,400 patients diagnosed with heart failure participated in the trial. Some were given the new drug, some were given ACE inhibitors. The patients taking ACE inhibitors reduced their rate of mortality by 18%. The patients taking LCZ-696 reduced their mortality rate by about 20% more than that. Dr. Milton Packer at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center was a consultant on that study and presented its findings today at a cardiology conference in Barcelona. There was not only a reduction in the risk of death, there was not only a survival benefit, there was a very meaningful reduction in the risk of hospitalization and an improvement in quality of life, a reduction in the symptoms and physical limitations of heart failure.